Welcome to a special edition of Front Side Post Beer Reviews. Your main man Johnny here with a very, 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 very special, special brew for you from Bastogne. Or as the French say, Bastonia, I've heard that said before. Shout out to my main man Steve for making this happen. As you can see, I'm sporting my patriotic glasses. I got the Eagle, got the, got the Eagle shirt. Um, rocking some talk box and some 82nd Airborne Division song ready to get this thing moving and grooving in the right direction let me put down this here guitar I've been dying to do this one for so long now um, as like I said shout out to Steve uh, for making this one happen uh, pulling out all the stops the first time I uh, discovered this beer it was a novelty I was at the um, I called, for lack of a better word, the beer barn in downtown Bruges in Belgium. And I ran across a beer that I was like, there's no way that this can be good. Okay. It was the Airborne beer, brewed in Bastogne, the soldier on it and everything with the Kevlar, with what looks like beer inside the Kevlar really out of control um 7.5 it's a brune wonderful wonderful brew uh, i got the light shining kind of hard here so we can get all of the visual once i pour it into the glass um wow i don't know what to say now um belgium has a strong airborne tradition in bastogne um famous world war ii battle the battle of bastogne where the 101st Airborne Division teamed up with the 82nd and liberated uh, that part of Belgium and it really did um, great work all throughout Belgium in you know liberating them from Nazi Germany and as my main man Terence Peters said once Bastogne is all the way as airborne as you can get it's the most airborne town I've ever ever been in and I've lived in Fayetteville North Carolina home of the 82nd Airborne Division. Nah, Bastogne is airborne. So, <clears throat> I'm switching up my glass here. I got these Ikea kind of wine glasses. Uh, they have a glass for this airborne beer and it's pretty much a helmet. And if you go to Bastogne, you'll see that people are hanging out at the airborne bar, drinking the airborne beer, and they're drinking out of a helmet. Literally, it's like this. Now, I don't have that helmet and I was thinking about pouring the beer into a bowl, but I just can't do it. So weighing in at 7.5, this is a brune, brewed in Bastogne, just local brew. And uh, I'm gonna crack this one open. Whoa, this has got spirit, a lot of spirit, real lively on the opening, super smoky. Uh, it's got that airborne spirit attached to it. Get a nose on it. Now, Got a nose similar to a left broom, so nothing really enticing on the nose. A tad bit of some uh, dark fruits. I'm really excited about this one. It's been a while since I had it. Let's see what the glass looks like. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and let you look at that. It's a broom, but it's also got a little bit of the Maroon Beret vibe from the 82nd Airborne Division. I don't know how they did that. If you can see, it's a little bit maroonish in there. I'm getting that, that look from my angle. I'm trying to give it the best view possible. Almost like a, almost like a butterscotch kind of look on it. Let me go ahead and put a nose. Ooh, butterscotch is correct. There is some butterscotch. Toffee, loads of toffee. Orange, some coriander vibe once again. And even a maple syrupy, biscuity thing going on here.
Mm. I'm going to dive into this one. Cheers. Airborne. Front side post. Wow. That's bitter. It's probably worthy of being drank in a um, Kevlar helmet or with a paratrooper. You could probably even drink this on a tank. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, this is that kind of Belgian ale. It's nice, man. It's sweet. It's um, molasses. A lot of molasses, surprisingly. It's um, a well-crafted broom. It's not generic. I'm going to go for another taste here. The mouthfeel kind of gets you um, on the back end. A little bit of a... It, it, this is definitely could be a session. Even as, as at a 7.5, it could easily be somewhat of a session. You could probably have three or four of these and not really realize you're drinking a 7.5. Um, it's light. It's an upgrade from a left broom. Um, but it has a high level of drinkability. Um, you know what? I'm not going to go ahead and rate this beer. Because I think this is pretty much a player's choice. It's a, it's, it's a good, unique take on a brune. Um, there, there are some fruits in here. There, I'm, I'm tasting a little bit of raspberry, um, uh, just a tad, tad note of cherry. So it, it's got, it's got some style and swagger to it. Uh, once again, big up to my main man Steve for coming through, and. Uh, Bringing this one to review for, for front side post. Um, I'm going to carry on with the mission and um, keep it right, keep it clean, keep it tight, and I will see you tomorrow night.